Okay, this is a transmission for my 2004 Nissan Altima. And I was just getting ready to put some new uh, transmission seals. And right now I'm just getting started on the, the CV axle seals. And these are the ones that will usually give you the most trouble that need to be replaced. And we got one here on this side. And then we got another one back here on the back side. And I'm just popping these out with the pry bar. And usually I can just get in behind there with these and give it a little bit of a tap and start working those out. So I'm gonna get those out first and then we'll work on getting the, the torque converter seal out. Okay, now I've just pulled this torque converter straight off here, just pulls right out. I'm gonna get a hole started right here, just a tiny hole with the drill and I'm gonna go ahead and be careful don't hit the side of you know this in here where the seal goes <clears throat> just get you a hole you know kind of right in the center there and uh, we'll get a screw and it'll just push that thing right out of there it's about the easiest way that I've found to do it so first thing I'm just going to drill a small hole and then we'll get a screw started Okay, here's the drill I was using, just a small drill. And sometimes you got to drill this several times. The main thing is you want to get it as centered as you can and make sure you don't, you know, hit this side wall here and cause a leak. So just get it as centered as you can. And I'm just using this right here, just a small screw, and it'll just go in. It doesn't take much force at all once you get it started. Okay, so here I've got it started really good and just to show you this the small amount of force that it takes and if it doesn't work on the, the first one you can drill you another hole and but usually it just takes takes very little effort at all just to push it off <clears throat> and so at this point we can just pull it completely off here and it didn't damage anything. Just went in there and hit the bottom of that to push it off. So easiest way to get in there and do that. So we've got our um, got our CV seals, the front and back, and we got this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get our seals. And once we get in, get those replaced, we're going to move on to getting our new filter. And we'll have to uh, get this thing raised up a little bit so we can get to that. <clears throat> okay, so we got the torque converter seal. I've just got me a little block and a hammer. I'm just going to be tapping this around. Now, if you got a piece of PVC, I've used that before. That's the right diameter. And like I said, I'm just going to be tapping it in here with this little block here and make sure that it's fully seated. Okay, there we have that fully seated. I uh, found that the end of my rubber mallet works good for tapping it in there as well. Now, <clears throat> make sure to put you some transmission fluid around this seal. I've put some assembly lube. <clears throat> I found that it sticks a little better and stays there and I'm just gonna clean that up and stick that back in here. And then we're gonna move on to our CV seals. Turn your torque converter several times to make sure you get it to clunk in there good and make sure that it's seated in there. And I just got this to keep it from falling out while I'm moving this thing around. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our CV seals. Um, one thing about these is they're different sizes. So you've got a left and a right. The left's going to be your driver's side, and the right, of course, is going to be the passenger. So make sure that when you got this out of here like this, that you don't get confused because they'll go into either the front or the back as far as the OD goes. But <clears throat> you got to make sure you get the right one. So um, <clears throat> if you're looking at this, like this here basically it would be like you would see 
the transmission from the driver's seat. So you're going to put your driver's side over here or your left and then the right over here. So if you have to mark them, like I said, make sure that you don't get them confused because they won't work because they're different sizes. You can see right here, one smaller than the other. Okay, so here we are, and this would be the drivers. And this is the bigger of the seal. Should look something like that. And I'm just gonna use, you know, basically the same method of just tapping these in. They're not just really hard to get in there. <clears throat> but, you know, be careful and don't damage it. You know, you want to just hit on the solid part there. Um, if you can find a piece of pipe or something, that'll fit it by all means, you know, a piece of PVC or something. <clears throat> but I usually just tap them in there with a wooden block. It doesn't hurt it any. But like I said, this is a driver's side, the bigger of the two going right here. Okay, so we got that seated nice and flush all the way around here so we don't have it sticking up anywhere right now we just got the smaller of the two and this would be on your right side or what would be the passenger side and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna tap it in there with my hammer and my little piece of block here Okay, and again we just made sure that we've got that nice and flush all the way around and now we're ready we go ahead and we're gonna lift this thing up and we're gonna get started on removing the transmission pan and uh, see about getting a new filter on this thing and uh, after we get that we should be um, just about ready to make this up with the engine Okay, so all I've done is took the uh, pan off and there's a little bit of fluid left in there. Just took all those 10 millimeters off. Got my pan sitting over here. It's actually pretty rusty, so I put a little bit of paint on it. <clears throat> and I'm just getting ready to remove the, the filter. It's got some 10 millimeters as well around through here. And uh, we're just going to get those off. Looks like there's one that's got a stud on it there. But we're going to go ahead and take those off and see about getting a new filter on here now. Okay, so there we have that filter off. And there's also a bolt right smack in the middle of it. Don't miss that one. And there's 12 bolts that go around this thing all together. Um, so it's a no danger of coming loose, that's for sure. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get the new one back into place here. And uh, said so this is just, it has this uh, screen material on here. And I mean, that's all that it has. It's just this piece with the screen. I know a lot of times you see thicker filters with like, paper and whatever in them but this one's a little bit different so I'm just going to go ahead and get this back into place now and get all my bolts started and uh, see about getting this put back together here okay uh, one thing I didn't mention these bolts are all <coughs> sorted links so you want to put them in a particular order so you can put them back on you don't get mixed up so I'm just going to start with the first one, this long one, and I know where it goes right here. I'm just going to work my way around. I said they're all, I've got them laid out in order there, so there's no confusion with it. <clears throat> okay, so there we have that all snugged back down, really nothing to it. The uh, old one didn't seem to be too terribly dirty, but you know, I'm not going to put it in without having a new one in here as well so just uh, cleaned up the surface all the way around here real good and kind of scraped off any any silicone or anything 
cleaned up the surface of this. So last thing I'm, I've got is a thin bead of this ultra gray. I don't want any leaks and I'm going to go ahead and get this back on there. Um, they said they've got gaskets but I just prefer to use the, the ultra gray. seems to work good for me so we're going to go ahead and get it set on here and we're just going to finger tighten these bolts at this point. Uh, another thing you got two magnets that are located right in there. Make sure to clean those up when you clean this pan out and everything. Make sure to get all that those medical particles and stuff off of there. Okay so there we have it. Um, I'm going to come back after like 24 hours and give it the final torque I'll go 108 inch pounds but for now I've just got it barely tightened and I'm just gonna let my uh, silicone set up real good if you go ahead and torque it it just usually squeezes it out and really does no good and then you'll have leaks so that's how I do it anyway so um, that's gonna conclude this video and uh, hope it hopefully it's been helpful and thank you for watching